Here are all aspects of a potential PhD supervisor that will ensure that you survive your PhD. Number one, expertise. The, the first and, f and the most important aspect to check is their expertise. A great PhD supervisor overlaps with the, with the research topic of your choice. They should be uh, knowledgeable in most if not all of the techniques you will be using to answer your research question. You can often discover a potential PhD supervisor's area of expertise by looking at their university staff profile page. They love talking about their research on these pages. Some will also have a dedicated website for their lab too. Most universities provide an area for academics to display current PhD students, recent publications, and research interests. I would highly recommend that you go through their staff page in meticulous detail. Please go through all of the recent dissertations, thesis, and peer-reviewed papers that they have recently published. Read as many of them as you can get your hands on. Reading these and the papers will allow you to see if this supervisor can help you with your research and whether or not you are interested in this supervisor's research area. Reaching out to the potential supervisor and asking for an opportunity to talk through your proposed research topic will also help you determine a good match with expertise. Academics will happily share their ideas for your research topic and tell you if it aligns with their current research interests. Getting a potential PhD supervisor to talk about their research area is easy. Every PhD supervisor loves to talk about their work. However, as they talk to you, you are, are you interested in their research? Does it spark any joy? Are they excited when, when they are talking about it? These are all subtle cues, subtle cues that uh, clues that allow me to determine if this academic would be a good fit for your research topic. Academics are famously b very boring to listen to but any attraction and interest in their research is a great sign at this early stage. While you are meeting up with them, it is also very important to determine whether or not they have a personality that matches well with yours. Personality match. Never under underestimate the power and influence of a good manager or PhD supervisor. I have had several fantastic PhD supervisors and principal investigators in, in academia and I have witnessed and had some not so nice experiences too. Unfortunately, the academic system tends to self-select for assholes. To progress up the academic career leader, ladder, it is common to find selfish, backstabbing and non-collaborative personality traits being rewarded. Luckily, a few absolute gem supervisors slips through the net. They may not be the most prestigious, well-known or outspoken academics, but they will be amazing supervisors. Do not be lured into thinking that the most prestigious academics are the best supervisors. They are almost always the worst, supervi worst supervisors. The, the more prestigious an academic become and, uh, and academics become, the more PhD students they attract and the less time PhD students get with the supervisor one on one to one. You will have to find support in other forms from the research groups such as postdocs or senior PhD students. That's not to say that they can be great super great uh, research supervisors. It is just gets much harder for them. I would recommend sitting down for a simple conversation with any potential supervisor, sitting with them away from their office 
and work allows you to see what sort of person you may be working with for the next few years can this person hold a simple conversation with you are they friendly engaging attentive during your coffee catch up asking about their current research interests and what they do outside of their job has always been a fun way for me to get an idea of the person i will be working with it is not necessarily a bad sign for them not to have any hobbies outside academia still i have found that academics with a good understanding and experience of work life balance have been nicer to work for they understand that people need to relax and find their work life balance in short if you can sit down with them and have a good conversation for the half an hour without thinking they are a horrible person or them making you feel uncomfortable you may want to add them to your short list best questions to ask a prospective supervisor while you are sitting down with a potential phd supervisor there are some potent there are some important areas that you need to cover here are some awesome questions and lines of conversation that will enable you to keep the conversation flowing and find out if they are good fit for you expectations of their phd students one of the first things i like to ask any potential academic supervisor is the expectation of the phd students and the research academics they supervise quite often this question is answered very aggressively one of my postdoc supervisor expected me to produce five papers per year by the way that was not a realistic expectation that was not a realistic expectation it gave me an idea of the supervisor's mindsets in going into the project and was good measure of the level of panic they felt in their careers discussing expectations regarding how often they want to see you in the office and building publication conference output outputs of their current phd students and levels of interaction they expect will allow you to work out of this phd supervisor is a good fit for you don't be put off by a phd supervisors with high expectations often the phd supervisors inflate what they expect from their students because they are talking about a stretch goal when you speak to their actual phd students you can double check the levels of output they are achieving with them if you are put off by the level of work and commitment they expect from you it may be a sign that you are your time under their tutelage will be filled with anxiety always ask for examples of phd students who have achieved what they expect what their graduates are doing because job in academia is so rare many of their phd graduates will end up doing other careers for example my primary phd supervisor sent many phd students into explosives manufacturing there was a good crossover between the emulsion explosives industry and the colloid and surface science research that the supervisors was performing many phd graduates stay around in universities on leftover money awaiting the next grant or opportunity to apply for funding a supervisor who understands the outside world and will help you transition into industry or another career will be much better for your long term career prospects if a phd supervisor has many graduates in different roles it demonstrates their ability to help mold their phd students into professional suitable for a wide range of careers it would certainly be something i'd be happy to see in a potential supervisor many universities are now employing academics who have industrial or professional experiences it is important to find out if your phd supervisor has any experience with professional or industry roles even industrial collaborators at this point is a good sign it shows that they have some connection with industry that may help you in the future availability 
ask how often the phd potential phd supervisor meets up with their phd students do they run a regular group meeting do they meet up regularly with all of their phd students are they available most of the year for you to drop into their office some more successful academics are often away at conferences collaborators severely limiting their drop in availability if they are away often or they do not run regular group meetings you will have to find other ways to seek support when you need it this support can come from other people in the group and senior researchers being able to drop in for a quick 5 minutes chat has proved invaluable during my academic career i used to keep up my momentum and to answer the silly little questions that could easily be, uh, that could cause a complete halt to the research not all supervisors can do this but it is typically a good sign when you when you find a f- when you find a very available supervisor for these quick questions funding you should ask how many of their phd students are currently in fully funded positions a supervisor with many self funded phd student is a worry ask about any potential funding from the university institution active grants or top up scholarship that can be applied to your research it is a bad idea to seek a self funded phd unless you have particularly strong financial foundations and can support your lifestyle for up to 7 years more on the more on that later meet with current phd students lastly i would recommend asking to be put into contact with some of their current phd or master students if they are kg about providing the connection it could be a red flag telling you that they are saying is at best a lie or worst manipulative running the same questions past any other past any of their current phd students and looking for conjugacy congruency and deviation from their supervisor's responses will help you to determine how accurate they can judge their style of a phd supervisor supervision a word of warning every phd student finds fault with their phd supervisor in some respect as long as these faults are not bullying professional negligence or outright mean behavior it may not matter if the responses are negative particularly from phd students who are about to graduate the role the toll of a phd on a phd student can cause a lot of negative feelings and outbursts i think it is just comes with the territory unfortunately choose a co supervisor one of the last important components of choosing a phd supervisor is looking for an opportunity to incorporate a co supervisor during my phd the relationship with my primary supervisor crumbled in the second year it became 